Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in the laboratory. And my goodness, it has been a little while since we have slipped on our safety goggles and put on our lab coats, but that's because it's been a very, very busy time of the year for me, my friends. You see, it's that time of year where I must reflect on the meaning of life and all of the important things that I want to achieve out of the next year. And basically, I go down a rabbit hole of really contemplating all of the amazing adventures that we can have together and I get a little distracted. However, today, while my beloved husband Chips and I were on our daily wintry walk, we started talking about snow leopards and it made me miss being here in the lab with you guys so much that I vowed then and there to Chips that as soon as we got home, I was going to sit down and we were going to dive back into the laboratory and I was going to crossbreed a snow leopard, which we were talking about because we were reminiscing over the beautiful snow leopards that we saw in the San Diego Zoo last year with whatever dog happened to show up next. And so the two of us were like hawks, keeping our eyes out for the next puppy to be paraded past us at the park. And lo and behold, my friends, the very next dog that I saw was actually a little Yorkie. It was a little Yorkshire Terrier who is actually a lot more gray than this Yorkshire Terrier. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the coat color up just a little bit because this little Yorkshire Terrier... Ah, uh, can I get the tones just right? This little Yorkshire Terrier was kind of more... Okay, definitely not those colors. <laughs> Alright, this little Yorkshire Terrier was probably more along the lines of this coloration more than anything. It was a pretty gray Yorkie and it was adorable and prancing about on the end of its lead with its parents and wanted pets. And of course we were good and we didn't pet it, but I really wanted to. Oh gosh, guys. And I was just so excited because what better way to ponder our wonderful, curious questions, then dive into the laboratory again and ask ourselves, just what would it look like if you were able to take a beautiful snow leopard with their gorgeous spots and those rosettes and that really long tail and that fluffy fur that keeps them warm as they roam the Himalayan mountains with a Yorkshire Terrier, which is actually a newer breed of dog that was bred in the 19th century. And and oh my gosh, if you guys have not seen like what some of the, the super fancy Yorkshire Terriers look like, I like absolutely have to show you because they're basically just glossy fur mops. They kind of remind me of if you put a dog inside some of those like fake wigs that you see hairdressers always messing around with in movies and things like that. <laughs> And I have never seen a Yorkshire Terrier with super long silky fur that's nearly as long as my like hair uh, in real life. But if you guys have ever seen a super long furred Yorkshire Terrier, I would love to know the story behind that because they are very interesting dogs and pretty recent when it comes into dog breeds. So today we are going to go ahead and we are going to experiment by mixing the genes in the Petri dish of a lovely snow leopard named Mag Michelle. And Michelle, I was so excited when I went to randomize our random name generator and your name popped up because you actually had a request that we could do a snow leopard mix. Lo and behold, the random comment generator picked you to become the snow leopard this time. Of course, don't worry, here in the laboratory, this lovely snow leopard is just being held temporarily so that we can go ahead and test some of her genes and take all of her DNA sequences and make sure she's healthy before we release her back Back into the wild programs to help snow leopards and michelle i was just so tickled that your name was chosen and then we had the name hero pop up for the little yorkshire terrier's name and i love 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 to imagine that one of you guys as our wonderful laboratory assistants actually has brought your own yorkshire terrier into work today and we're just borrowing a little pinch of their dna to mix into the petri dish to get some snow leopard and yorkshire terrier puppies so as usual, you guys, if you want to go ahead and become one of our fantastic lab assistants or end up named after, like having one of these animals named after you, 
then all you need to do is leave a comment down in the comment section below and the random comment generator might pick you next time, which is always very exciting. Also, leave your suggestions on future crossbreeds because now that I am getting back into it, kind of stretching and ready to explore the next 1,000 adventures as we try to reach 10,000 videos on this channel. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Just a little over 900 more. Oh, we can do this. Then I would love to be able to try out some of the mixes that you guys suggest. So let's do this, my friends. Let's take Michelle the Snow Leopard's lovely jeans, and we're gonna mix it with Hero the Yorkshire Terrier's jeans. And this time, I hope none of you are sneaking some of that dragon DNA into the Petri dish. All right, let's go ahead, pull up. <gasps> Look at that cute little crossbreed. Oh my gosh, the spots from the Snow Leopard are showing up on like this mysterious unknown parent. But now I need to pull up the random name generator. And we are actually going to go ahead and have, dun, 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 <gasps> little Willow come join us. Willow, oh my gosh, you are so freaking cute. Look at you, look at all these spots. Oh my goodness. All right, so Willow, welcome. Welcome to the lab. You are the first Petri dish puppy that we currently have. And you, my friend, are going to be a playful, a couch potato and a hunter. So it sounds like you're going to be chasing after all of the little balls or maybe chasing the birds in the puppy play yard before passing out in extreme exhaustion. And it's gonna be really fun to see you guys because we definitely have some fluff. I think we're definitely very fluffy. We also have a tail like the Yorkie. Are we going to end up being a small or a large dog? That's gonna be the question when we see what our Snow Leopard Yorkie crossbreed turns out to be. But all right, also, Willow, I love the idea of a wolf and a T-Rex mixed together, but that exceeds the bounds of what we can actually manage to do here in the laboratory with our science, <laughs> because it has to be something based off of a cat or a dog model in The Sims 4. However, if you have seen a wolf and a T-Rex mixed together in some sort of fan art, you guys, I kind of would low-key love to see that, because that's, that's a little intense, just saying. All right, let's go ahead and... <gasps> Look at you! So this is the next puppy, taking after the coloration of the Yorkies. And the random comment generator says, this is actually going to be Kylie! Kylie, welcome, welcome! Kylie, you are going to be another couch potato who is aggressive. So, you know, we have couch potatoes who are hunters and couch potatoes who are aggressive, a little bit of both parents' traits, if you ask me and very playful. And Kylie, you would love to see a wolf and a skeleton dog crossbred. And I think that sounds so cool because whenever we do the skeleton dog mixes, it's always a mystery of what they actually looked like or what dog they're based off of because I randomized the breed and the um, coat color. So you wanna do some forensics. I think that sounds awesome. We'll look into that in the near future, especially because Paranormal Stuff Pack is coming out. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so fun. All right, let's pull up the next little Petri dish pup. Oh, are we going to have spots? <gasps> and we've got... <gasps> Hello, little one! Adelaide! Okay, Adelaide. Adelaide! Adelaide? I hope I pronounced that correctly. Adelaide, welcome! You are another fluffy, spotty puppy, and I think you actually ended up with your mom's ears. Those look like snow leopard ears to me. And not mom's eyes, but we're just going to ignore those eyes. And let me go ahead, add a lad lady. Oh, what a lovely name. And you also are going to be a little aggressive and adventurous, so maybe you want to roam around the mountains. You just have that instinct like your snow leopard mother. And you're also a sleuth, so I think this is going to be the puppy that is definitely going to be trying to escape the puppy play yard. Mm -hmm. You need to stay on your toes, my lab assistants. Watch this one. All right, let's pull up the next little pup. We're halfway there on these pea pups. And this time, we're going to go ahead and have... Oh, look at those ears! Oh my gosh, you're so cute! This is going to be Mal! Mal, welcome! Welcome to the lab. You're definitely coming in with stunning eyes and quite adorable little ears. Just look at those fluffy ears. Oh, I love it. And the idea of a wolf and a lion. Now that is definitely a top tier mix of predators there. 
I love, love, love seeing like it randomly suggested to me on what you guys want to crossbreed because it just makes me so excited to do this like forever. Oh, it's thrilling. And Mel, you are actually a troublemaker who is playful and vocal. So you're definitely going to distract all of us while the other ones try to escape and get into all sorts of nonsense. I can tell it. Mel is going to be the one that like distracts the whole team of the lab so that all of the other puppy snow leopard mixes can run off and, and hunt down chaos. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next one and I'll get that common generator prepared. We're ending up with a lot of spotty puppies who aren't spotty like a snow leopard, but at least keeping the snow leopard spots. Oh, and another Yorkie puppy with big ears. Hello, little one. This is gonna be a little Yuri. All right, Yuri, welcome, welcome. And you are going to be jumpy, active, and vocal, which again, I think we have like the duo here who will distract everybody else and uh, keep everyone keep everyone focused on the loud puppies while the other ones can run off and use some of their stealthy snow leopard skills to sneak into the hallways and get up to mischief. And also, Ming, I think that the idea of doing a deer and a nine-tail fox is just beautiful. Holy cow. That's giving me all sorts of inspiration for some fantasy stories. You heard it here first, guys. I plan on spending the entire next decade of my life, not this one, but like the next, this one is like to work on our YouTube channel. But next decade of my life, when I'm in my 40s, I'm going to be working on so many fantasy books. You heard it here first. All right. And I, I think that like, Deer and a nine-tailed fox? That sounds like an amazing fantasy story. Hello. All right, let's pull up the last of the little Petri dish puppies that we are going to have this time. <gasps> Ooh! We ended up with a more gray Yorkie coloring and a mix of eyes here. The Yorkie tail and the Yorkie ear. And this is actually going to be Wolf for Wolf Spirit. So we have a little snow leopard Yorkie named Wolf. I love how because you guys love, love, love so many of the animals that you use those animals as your usernames, we end up with this kind of conundrum quite often. Uh, and also, Wolf, you cannot actually produce wool or dairy. Like, you can't be a snow leopard Yorkie crossbreed named Wolf who produces wool and dairy. I'm sorry, that just goes too far. <laughs> All right, let's try again. You are going to be active, hairy, and very playful, so welcome! And also, the wolf spirit. I love the idea of doing a chihuahua mix with a wolf. We have done that mix before, but I'm always up for doing it again. You guys can check over 100 of our amazing crossbreed adventures and the playlist linked down in the video description, so definitely give that a whirl if you would like to see what we've done in the lab before. I always find it fun to go back and see which, which ones are the most popular as time goes on to see which one of the mixes you guys enjoyed the most. Usually the fox and the hound is like way up there and anything with dragons. Y'all really love your dragon genes. So let's go ahead and see what these little ones are going to turn out to be. We're going to start with a willow. Are we going to end up with a Yorkie snow leopard who is big like the snow leopard parent or small like little hero? All right, willow, you're up first. <gasps> Willow, you're a tiny little spotted Yorkie! You're so cute with those eyes! Oh my gosh! I didn't know I wanted like a Dalmatian-esque Yorkie, but I did. <laughs> Alright, welcome, welcome Willow. So those spots actually come from a snow leopard parent, uh, which I love, and I think we have a little bit more fluffiness, but honestly I think mostly you take after your dad hero. Look at you, oh you're so precious. Okay, that's already off to a great start. All right, Kylie, you're up next. Oh, Kylie, you ended up small. I think the tail, the tail kind of, it, it's not longer, but I sort of feel like Kylie has a longer tail because, uh, you know, the snow leopards have super, super long tails. But wow, Kylie, you wouldn't know that you have any snow leopard in you. You've just got that like hidden little aggressive gene and you probably love chasing down squirrels. All right, all right. Next up we have Adelaide. Adelaide? <gasps> Adelaide, look at you! Okay, she's huge. This is so cool. So she actually turned out to be a large creature taking after that snow leopard body type with the Yorkie fur type. Look at that. With like basically sort of a snow leopard with Yorkie, um, like little Yorkie beard. But ah, oh gosh, I guess I was kind of hoping for like snow leopard coloring, but Yorkie like size or Yorkie expression 
So we're getting close here. We're getting close. Not quite where I thought we would go. Also, the ears are definitely different. Those are definitely the snow leopard ears. Oh my gosh, you look like an adorable... You look like an adorable Dalmatian bear from the back. Oh, now I want to breed a Dalmatian and a polar bear. Oh, that's going to have to be one of our next mixes. Mal, with those beautiful eyes and those big ears, you're up next, my dear. <gasps> Mal! You're so different! I love different! Different is so cool! It's so unique! It's so much of a wonderful outlier in all of our experimental results. Excellent. Different makes you ask questions and different is amazing. That's why everybody should really embrace what makes you different. Oh, oh, I love it. Mal, you're fantastic. I definitely would not look at this mix and guess like Yorkie Snow Leopard. Maybe the tail might give a little bit of it away, but this is, this is probably my favorite, like favorite mix we've had so far, though I love them all equally. Yuri, you're up next. Oh, Yuri. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love Yuri as well because Yuri has some of that like home farm dog energy and then just those ears and that face. Oh my goodness. Yuri, you're adorable. <laughs> How do those ears stay up when they're so big? Oh, I love this. Wolf, you are finally, finally just as big. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love it when we've got those big ears. Maybe we'll have to do like a Finnick box soon. Those big ears and that big body. Again, nothing about this one would have made me think that like, oh, it's descended from a Yorkie. I might be able to see it on Yuri. Mal, you're just completely out of the left field and I love it. Okay. And now that I'm coming back to Adelaide, like I love the way that you turned out. Like, come on, Yorkie face. You've got spots, you've got the snow leopard ear, Yorkie tail, that's so much fun. And then I love how we straight up just have a normal Yorkie with Kylie, like totally hidden snow leopard jeans. And Willow, oh my gosh, you're adorable. This was so fun. But all right, guys, that is the mix of a Yorkshire Terrier and a Snow Leopard. If you guys could definitely leave your comments down below on who is your favorite mixes you would like to see in the future, your name, so that we could add you in to our laboratory for next time. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.